Biologists say killer whales are deliberately hunting great white sharks and eating their organs after running low on their traditional fish diet. A pair of orca have been eating great white sharks off the coast of South Africa. Uh, seven, the remains of seven, have washed up on the beach, on beaches, um, sons without their livers. Crikey. Some have also had their hearts removed by the orca's razor-sharp teeth. A marine study says it's a dramatic reversal of the oceanic, oceanic uh, food chain in one of the great white sharks' territorial strongholds. Let's turn to the study author, Alison Towner, from the Dyer Island Conservation Trust. Uh, well, welcome to you. I mean, it's gruesome stuff, but you know, fascinating to watch nature in the raw, in the rawest sense here. Yeah, sorry, I apologise. I think the internet connection's a little bit uh, a bit dicey. But yeah, absolutely, Colin. It's been a, a shocker of a, a situation to witness. And, um, you know, as the science is, is going on, it's struggling to keep up with the ecological impacts. It's, it's really something else. And, and how, how new is this? I mean, if, uh, and is it a, a function of just there not being enough, enough fish to feed on? Uh, has some, something happened in the, the relationship between these two species? Yeah, so one of the theories at the moment is that there's a reduction in offshore prey that the orcas would usually be targeting, so it may have caused them to come more coastal, but that's now directly put them overlaying with the habitat that great whites are occupying, and therefore the white sharks have been kind of driven out of their prime aggregation sites. And I, mean, I hate to reduce this to the level of playground politics, but it, is it always the case that, a, that an orca, a killer whale, as was, uh, will successfully be able to turn on a, a great white shark of sometimes some length. Yeah, I mean, we, we don't really want to believe it, do we? Eventually, and Spielberg made uh, the white shark into quite the, uh, the top predator of the ocean and, and put fear in, in many people about it. But the reality is the largest dolphin species, which is the killer whale, is, uh, is far more uh, worthy of the apex predator top spot. And they've proven this time again. You know, they're highly sophisticated uh, strategists. They work together. And, you know, they are mammals. They're rather intelligent. And so a white shark's not going to stand a chance. But equally, the white sharks are smart by showing these very large scale avoidance strategies. Um, you know, they don't also known as running away. So hang around uh, would, would not yeah. make sense. Avoidance strategies, presumably that means running away, swimming, <laughs> swimming away. Uh, yeah. what's, Alison, yeah. what's, what's, what's with the livers? Well, the livers make up to about one third of a shark's body weight and they're full of lipids. So they're really, if you imagine it almost like the fat of a sirloin steak, it's the most nutritious, lipid rich part of the shark. So they're pretty clever, these killer whales. What they've learned to do is just tear open the sharks with the pectoral fins. So basically like by their aeroplane wings, if you will. And then the liver slides out and they, they chomp that and they actually discard the rest of the carcass. And that's what myself and the biological team here have been dealing with is all these dead white sharks washing up, uh. minus their livers, piecing that together with the tracking data, the flight responses, and then finally we were able to publish the science today. So, yeah, we have evidence now. <laughs> yeah. No, I enjoyed the use of the word chomping. Not very anatomical, but we, we absolutely understand what you mean. Alison Town, it's so good to talk. Well, she absolutely fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> really fascinating story. Thanks for your time. Thanks so much.